let's talk about the data that's actually included in the release. Um, I think we should start with the basics, uh, which means uh, firmographic data. So, yeah, we, we, we really focused on um, firmographic data and also technographic data and web insights. Um, so firmographic data, by that I mean industry, company size and location. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy that we were able to sort of innovate in all those in all those categories. So first one, I think this is something we discussed also in the last episode, Vainu Custom Industry. So we wanted to bring and release something that is more more accurate than standard industry code. So we, we came up with the concept of Vainu Custom Industry. So we have a taxonomy of more than 900 labels. And that includes like these modern uh, industry verticals such as software as a service. In the in the past, you always had to search for high level, only high level uh, industries such as software or healthcare or manufacturing. But now you can do actually quite cool searches. You can search for SaaS businesses and also that they are a SaaS business doing a specific offering like employee benefits. These type of results, you can also it, uh, adjust the confidence scores that you have. So if you are, if you want to have companies that are even more SaaS, you can actually look at the confidence score of these uh, companies. And I mean, there's plenty of that type of uh, searches uh, available. So confidence score is is the one that we have for industry labeling and 900 categories in total. And um, like artificial intelligence, virtual reality, software as a service. So especially if if your ICP definition includes a sort of searches that where the industry vertical is modern, then it's very easy to do that type of searches with, with Vinyl Global. Great. Um, well, when it comes to firmographics, usually there's the golden triangle of uh, industry location and size. And I know we've been innovating a lot with uh, determining the size of the company and, and the location as well. So could you describe how, how we do it and, and how it actually looks like? Yes. So I guess then I need to do the screen share again. Just a second. Screen share here and tab. So if industry is the first firmographic data point, then uh, company size, we actually have a couple of different uh, indicators for company size. And again, there's something proprietary in that. So first we focus on employee count and employee count ranges. So this one is another model that we came up with. So we look at the whole website content, uh, the site structure, the technographics, they're using the website traffic, um, different type of sub pages, if they have investors page, how many addresses they have on the website, simply to come up with uh, the employee count range. Because typically sales ops, sales marketing people, they use these sort of... Um, uh, classes that they put all the mic micro companies to startup team and then they have an enterprise team focusing on larger opportunities they have an smb team so we predict the employee count range for all companies and it's an it's an ai model that we use and the good thing with that model is that even though sometimes it might make a mistake but the mistake is always small because it's looking at if the the highest likelihood if it's an enterprise category or large category and so on. So it doesn't do big mistakes like enterprise companies won't be uh, labeled as micro companies, for example. Another one that we have and that I'm using here as well is website traffic. I think especially if you sell to um, e-commerce sites or you're a SaaS provider, you have something, a, a product that is implemented on a, on a website, we can look at the website traffic. We, we cover top 9 million websites worldwide and every single one of them gets a uh, gets a number which is a ranking um, so now for example this search is looking at companies that are in the SaaS industry using hubspot and based on web traffic they all belong to uh, top 1 million websites so and then we have 327 companies companies left and uh, then the third firmographic is of course location also there we wanted to do something uh, innovative. Um, we don't just use existing business registries or, or uh, social media sites as LinkedIn, but we actually look at the company website and then extract the, the addresses from the, from the website. And then we parse 
country information, city information, postal code information out of those address strings. And uh, by applying this methodology, I think the biggest value value add in terms of location is that we, we, we can provide multiple locations per business. So not only the HQ location, but also the other countries of operations and also this location count. So very useful if you have a product or a service that it that is both on a regional level. You can, for example, check all your US-based customers and if they have if they have offices or um, like business going on in other countries where you have a sales team, such as in Germany or UK, France, or in the in the Nordics. So that's like those are the firmographic data points, and there's always our own unique model, and that's why it's proprietary data that we can that we can provide.